So three years ago, I decided that it would be a great idea to replace the sun with a, you know with an even bigger sun. You know what could go wrong? Some of you might know Stevenson, and if you do, you know. And if you don't, yeah. So I replaced the sun with the largest sun or star in the solar system. The universe, not the solar system. God. So of course the first step in doing this is that we have to replace the sun with Stevenson, which is the easiest part and then we'll get to some problems real quick when I'm trying to set this up, which you'll see in a minute. They change some stuff and I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. So right here we got Stevenson, we replaced it, and as you can see it is massive. Yeah, honestly it looks really cool. I know Universe Sandbox did some stuff with, yeah, space goggles or whatever this is, but it's pretty blinding. Which is honestly a really cool feature that Universe Sandbox has added. It's kind of neat. Wait, here's Stevenson. Um, as you can see, Stevenson is quite large. It's so large, in fact, that it that it spans all the way to Saturn's orbit, which is insane. And the radius of Stevenson is 10 AU, which is crazy. So this is what we're left with. So essentially, all the inner planets, you know, Earth and stuff, we're gone. We're gone. We're dead. And Saturn and Jupiter are also gone. So the only planets that we do have left is Uranus and Neptune, which already are... And we've also got some dwarf planets, so you know, like uh, Eris and of course Pluto. Which, it looks like Pluto actually has water on it. Does it? Kind of, yeah. Although, Pluto is not looking so good. And it shouldn't take too long before we start seeing dwarf planets and other like asteroids and stuff start disappearing. And things like Neptune and Uranus shouldn't, sh from what I think shouldn't last long, but from the video, I think Uranus and yeah, so Uranus and Neptune were still here. Although that could very much change. And I guess I never found out what really happened since I ended the video, but that's why we're making this. So enough with the yap session, and let's just see what happens. So that tune is already 1700 degrees Celsius. So Pluto is just a bit colder than Neptune. Although when I say colder, I don't really mean cold since it's still, it's still a thousand degrees Celsius. You know, one thing I forgot about, I probably should add the moons of these planets or of add the moons to Pluto. I still, okay, no, okay. Where do I add the moons? There's a Wikipedia? That's neat. Oh, it's literally right here. Okay. <laughs> so let's check on Triton. Wherever Triton is. Yeah, there's Triton. Which Triton's already... <laughs> it's already a thousand degrees Celsius. I'm pretty sure Triton is one of the coldest moons, if not the coldest moon. But yeah, I mean, Triton at this point is just a rock. <laughs> There's nothing much. You check on Pluto here. Which... I thought they would have fixed this by now, but I guess they haven't. <laughs> one thing that's different so far is that... Is that none of these... Dwarf planets or asteroids are essentially disintegrating compared to my video three years ago, which if you were to look like slowly over time, like slowly over time, like Pluto was losing mass, 
Although I don't know because I, I did speed it up much faster. Well in here I don't have not I didn't speed up that fast. So if I speed it up. So no. At right now now none of these asteroids or plants, moons or whatever are losing any mass, which is different. So anyway, was something collide into Stevenson? Is that what that is? I don't know, it's really hard to see. I think something did collide into collide into Stevenson. I don't know if you see that little bulge going on the outside. And nothing much has changed besides every thing in our solar system becoming a ball of magma at this point and a couple of moons escaping from their parent planet. But for the most part, I mean, nothing's changed, really. The asteroids aren't disintegrating. Like in two seconds compared to my video from three years ago. So yeah, if I mean comparing the two uh, from three years ago and now, the only change that really has happened is that Things aren't disintegrated, I don't know how to explain it. 30,000 degrees Celsius, which is insane. So I did decide to mess with this a bit, and I set the surface temperature to um, 2,000 degrees Celsius, which, uh, it's, which is uh, pretty hot. And for the most part, I don't think anything's going to survive. And for the most part, I think I've screwed the solar system just a little bit.